Hey, good morning and welcome back everybody. Hope everyone's having a wonderful week. Wanted to just say thank you to everybody who's been sending me a lot of great feedback this week about the contest and some of my recent videos and all the new subscribers that have been coming in the last couple weeks. I'm a little bit overwhelmed and just really appreciate the uh, outreach the community has done recently and uh, the response to the contest, which is a reminder, my contest will expire. Uh, the last day to uh, submit a video will be July 4th, and then I'll probably do a live uh, live stream to be able to kind of actually select the winner. Uh, so please stay tuned for details after the 4th. I want to confirm that everyone that submitted a video is on the list before I actually do it. Just make sure no one's left out, and then we're going to do it live is my plan. And just as a reminder, you can get a vintage selection is one of your choices if you are the winner, or you can go with a modern selection and you get a choice. Uh, actually, one of three 2001 Topps gold cards, Cal Ripken's not pictured, but you have Derek Jeter and Ken Griffey Jr. pictured here, in addition to another selection of uh, modern cards that go with it. Um, so good luck, everybody. And I uh, just wanted to kind of remind everybody of that. So let me take these down and just jump into the video today. In the background there, we have Indiana Jones, uh, which is actually a vintage action figure from the Raiders of the Lost Ark collection. I believe it was released in like 1982 or something like that. Mine are beat to crap, so but they're fun to have in collection. Big Indiana Jones fan myself. Looking forward to seeing the movie this weekend. I hope it's good. We will see. All right, so I'm going to enjoy my coffee out of my White Sox mug and just talk about cheap slabs. How cheap slabs are actually a lot of fun. Um, so this is not a vintage card, as you know, but it is a player I do collect. Uh, I saw it up for sale this past week. It posted and you could do a best offer. So obviously I think this person was hoping to be able to get a better grade on this card when they submitted it and was hoping to maybe get a little bit more bang for their buck when they put it back for resale. Um, I think anytime you get less than a nine on a modern card, it's kind of a bit of a bummer. Um, it does look like the edges are not necessarily even from one side to another. So it must've been kind of cut funny. So that may be part of it. Otherwise, it's centered. There's not really any problems with the card surface itself. Really cool refractor that's numbered out of two, 273 from the 73 Tops Heritage. Um, so when it posted, it posted for a sale price of 13, but accepted a best offer less than that. So I got it to the house for 15 bucks, which when you think about it, um, it's cost more to grade it. If you submit it yourself, you'd have to get the card itself, which probably would probably be, I don't know, about a $5 card or something like that. So this is a lot of fun. It fits well in my collection. I do collect a Brayu. It's a White Sox card on top of it. And I do love Topps Heritage. Um, I do like the, that of the modern releases. Heritage is probably my favorite of all of them, even though I know breaking boxes is not really a good idea in that product in particular. Um, but I'm just really kind of happy to have it in my collection. This also actually inspired me like, you know, it's been a minute since we've done a rip, a retail rip on this channel. I think it's been about seven months now. So I'll put a bring you back in the corner here um, and kind of get them out of the way. I actually stopped at the local Target and I got a mega box of Heritage for this year, which again, I just said is not going to be a great rip, uh, but it's going to be fun. It's based on the 1974 Topps card design, uh, which I've done that set before, most recently, I think in March. Uh, here's the Dave Winfield I have for that set that's graded. I'll just put it up here in the corner next to Jose so we can kind of have them both in the background uh, as we kind of break open this box here. It looks like you get an opportunity to be able to possibly get an exclusive stamp uh, and you also get like three red parallel cards in here. And then after that, the odds are not great. I mean, I will get some SP cards for sure um, for the set itself which it looks like they've increased the set to 800 cards this year. So like the high series is going to be 300 cards versus like the 225 that they've done the last few years. Uh, so that's going to be a big set. Uh, I, I, I'm not a fan necessarily of doing it that way because the original set was 660 cards and they also had a traded series of like 44 cards. And I think if they were doing it that way and just kind of played, um, kind of paid homage correctly, they would have the same number of cards in the sets from year to year to kind of match it up correctly. And then the, the actual odds of pulling some of the other stuff isn't great at all. Uh, even just get a Chrome card is gonna be one out of 122 packs. If we get a Chrome card today, that is a major hit. Even if it is gonna be a player, maybe you're like, eh, not too excited about that. And then the getting a, a, 
autograph odd is super crazy. Um, with that said, though, I did get a, a blaster box of last year Heritage, and I pulled an autograph out of there and a numbered Chrome card. So that was really quite unexpected. All right, so let's just open this up here on this lovely Saturday, the first Saturday of July, middle of the baseball season, getting ready for the Women's World Cup, which should be a lot of fun. Got all the transfers going on in the Premier League, which I'm excited to follow. My team, Chelsea, is selling everybody. I think you can buy a team used garbage can right now if you go to their website because it doesn't seem like they're holding on to anything. Um, but I'm hoping it's for all for the better and they actually make good investments with the money they're recouping by not paying these big salaries going forward. All right, so let's open this big box up here. 17 packs with plus three exclusive red bordered cards. Let's hope it's something fun. Um, you know, I, I think the chances of getting anything really great are not going to be great, but it would be fun if it was like, you know, Adley Rushman or something like that. His rookie card was pulled here and it was like one of the variations. I'd be a very happy guy, um, but I'm not holding out hope for it. All right, so here's all the heritage packs. We got 17 in here all together. I got my soft sleeves over here. I can sleeve up some of the cards that are of value that kind of pop out right away. Uh, other than that, let's get started. Obviously, Heritage has increased the number of inserts they have over the years, too. So there's a lot more sets going on. Um, so we'll see what kind of happens in here. All right, we're in the back of the first pack. and see you got a Michael Harris card. I think that's rookie's rookie season. Oh, and it's a red parallel. Well, that's cool. It's not going to cover the cost of the box, but it is somebody, I believe, he made the All-Star team this year. He's going to be one of the starters. So that's cool. We got one in there. I mean, these are retail exclusive, so they're not super uh rare cards but you know it's kind of nice to have that added into the collection so we have michael harris added in there i'll put that off into the very good pile and let's see what we got here uh jj belday i don't really know him all that probably pronouncing his name wrong kevin gossman max kepler trey mancini as a cub wow they already updated his uniform in this uh peyton burdick uh, byron buxton Ramon Lariano. Uh, here we got some of those stamps. So these must be the exclusive stamps you got. I don't know how many of these actually come in the retail boxes. I think it's probably just a retail exclusive, but this is fun. We got Seaver on here. He's one of my favorite all-time pitchers, along with Matt Scherzer, Lariano, and Pete Alonso. This must be like the Mets one. So the all-time Mets or current Mets or something like that. So you got the all-time great Met there with uh, obviously some big names on the current team right now. Um, they're underachieving too, uh, so I'm not too upset with my White Sox because I, I know the Mets are going through a lot worse than we are. And then we got Max Muncy too. Some of these are going to be short prints. You have to look on the back. Uh, I'll probably do that at the end, but we're going to look for anything that's like four, between 400 and the number 500 uh, to be a short print. All right, so that's one pack in, and hey, you know, that was a nice little rookie card of a red parallel. I'm not upset with that one at all. I don't think I had any Michael Harris's yet because I don't really open Modern Product much. Uh, Miguel Cabrera, probably his going to be his last Heritage card unless they decide to put one in there next year. So that's a, that's a good one. And uh, we'll kind of add that one in. And here we go. Then we have an Aaron Judge special. All right. So this must be um, feeding off the beginning of the set, which has the Aaron Judge single season home run record for the American League card on there to kind of parallel the Hank Aaron card from 1974 tops, which is one of my favorite Hank Aaron cards. So this must be like a little set that goes with it. Um, so you can see like the Aaron Judge cards that go with it. Brian De La Cruz, got a lot of Marlins here, which is something you would not have seen in 1974 tops. Uh, Jazz Chisholm, you would not have seen a team from Miami. David Villar, it's a rookie two. Rafael Ortega, J.D. Burbaker, Zach Thompson, and a Salvi. Of course, anytime you get a Salvi, that's good, I think. I think he's got a chance to future the Hall of Famer. Definitely going to be in the all-time greats for the Kansas City Royals, for sure. All right, moving on here. Oh, wow, the edges are kind of rough here on the top, like... Like 1980s kind of bad cut, kind of rough. So if it's nothing good there, because that's not going to 
grayed out very high. Okay, we're missing actually the name on here. So this is some sort of parallel of Hunter Renfro. I don't know how common they are if they're missing the team name. Um, so I'm gonna look that up uh, probably in a moment and try and like let you guys know either through the comments if I can't find it right away. Um, but that is not how that card's supposed to be designed. So that's gonna be an interesting one to look up and kind of see. And it doesn't mention anything on there in the back. So maybe that's just what they did with the cards from the Angels. So we'll, we'll keep an eye out for that one. See if that's what they did with all the Angel cards or if that's actually a unique variation they have of it. Yuri Rodriguez. Here's the league leader cards. We got uh, ERA leaders. We got Verlander and Julio Urias. Uh, Nathan Lowe. Carlos Santana. Oh, I got a relic. Oh, okay, that's cool. And they're always game used with Heritage, which is kind of nice, even though I know the relics are not necessarily all that popular anymore. Uh, so we got JT Rilamuto. That's pretty cool. Um, obviously part of the Phillies team that did really well in the playoffs last year. I don't know if I have um, any soft sleeves that will fit this one right now. So I might abandon that. Oh, here's a bigger sleeve, soft sleeve. So we got that one all sleeved up. We're not doing too bad yet. Didn't expect to get uh, that kind of hit at all in this box. Yeah. Israel Pineda and Hunter Brown is the other one there. So we're, we're doing okay. We found something, I think, in every pack so far. And I'm sure there's some short prints, too, in the backs of some of these packs, or back of these cards. And I'll pull those out in a little bit. Nolan Jones. G-Man Choi. Ooh, Elvis Andrews. He's not doing too hot for the White Sox, but he's not the only one. That's interesting was that was the White Sox guy I got. Charlie Blackman, Nick Senzel. This is the then and now insert. We got Nolan Ryan and Sandy Alcantara. So the inserts are there. Oh, sorry, the insert pile up sort of here. Okay. And we got the home run leaders, Kyle Schwarber, and of course Aaron Judge. Miguel Andahar and Cesar Hernandez. I wonder if you have any Opeachy backs. I have to kind of look for that one too, because we only see those by turning the card over. All right, let's see what else we got. Adolis Garcia, Ryan Nelson. That's kind of a cool looking picture in there. Fernando Tatis Jr. Um, Y. Jin Ri, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if it's wrong. Andrew Chafin, Ezekiel Duran, New Age Performers, Spencer Torkelson. I didn't think he actually was performing, but that's interesting. Uh, Matthew Baton. And then we have another, here's the All Star selection card of Andy Machado and Rafael Devers. Man, yeah, the cutting, the, the, Edges of these cards are a little rough. They did not get a clean cut when they made some of these cards. All right, next pack. This is kind of fun so far. Adley Rushman rookie card. Okay, I don't know if that's just what the normal image looks like for Adley Rushman. So I don't know if it's anything special in here. It's card number seven. I guess I had to look that up to see if it's anything more than just a base. Um, but that's always kind of cool. You get like somebody like that out of the pack. Uh, I have to get a different soft sleeve. Oh, there we go. Didn't think it was actually going to be big enough to do it. So, yeah, that's cool. Can't go wrong with Adley Rushman. And we got Kyle Bradish, Nick Castellanos, Jordan Lyle, Wander Franco. That's kind of a cool picture. I'm going to lie on that one. Tyler O'Neill, Jose Buto. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. It's kind of a cool looking picture too. And Drew Waters is the other one we got in that pack. It'd be nice to get a Chrome card. I always like the Heritage Chrome cards. Um, although I probably could have gotten several Chrome cards for the price of the box here. So that's just how it kind of goes sometimes. Uh, Seth Brown, Nick Gordon, Anthony Santander, uh, William Contreras, Glenn Otto, Oscar Gonzalez, Joey Votto, glad to see him back. Brian Reynolds, and Easton McGee. Good old Easton McGee. All 
All right. Next set here. Ugh. These cards, uh, packs are sticking to me. A little bit of static electricity going on. Zach Wheeler. Jesse Chavez. He's got T.A., Tim Anderson. Sadly, he's really struggling this year. Really struggling. So I hope he could turn it around because he's a fun guy to watch. Uh, J.T. Rilamuto. Matt Strom. Garrett Hill. Kyle Schwarber. Joey Manessis. Christopher Morrell rookie card. I guess a lot of people are liking that rookie right now. You know, I guess he's doing okay for the Cubs for sure. Definitely getting some attention in a positive way for that team. She was hitting some of his home runs. So happy to see that they're doing a little bit better. And I'm not a big Cub fan, but better when the teams are doing better here than when they're not. I will definitely admit to that. All right. So we're supposed to get two more red parallels. I haven't hit uh, any more, so we should be expecting one pretty soon. Alex Bregman, MJ Melendez, Blake Snell, Jake Cronenworth, Dalton Guthrie. Oh, here we go, more stamps. And these are going to be your Pittsburgh Pirate ones. We got the Cobra, Dave Parker, Willie Stargell, Key, Brian Hayes, and O'Neill Cruz. You know, my stamp was a red back. I don't know if that was considered to be like one of my red cards. I don't know if there's red parallels of the stamps. That's interesting if that were the case. Riley Green, Shea Langoliers, I believe, Starlin Marte. And here's my uh, one. It is another rookie. It's Mark Benitos. Benitas. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Apologize to anyone that is a fan of his. Uh, but here's our other red parallel. So we have one more in the box somewhere here. Um, will it be someone that is going to knock my socks off? I sure hope so, because that's always fun when you see something like that that's unexpected. Red Parallel is expected to be able to get somebody that I really like, collect, or uh, has obviously some hobby value. is always a lot of fun to see. Okay. E. Guy Rosario, Harrison Bader, Rowdy Tellez. Looks like we got a red in this one. Uh, Martin Perez, Johan Duran, Cal Riley, New Age Performers, Corbin Carroll. Oh, wow. All star starter there. He's been taking off uh, for the Arizona Diamondbacks. I don't know if these. They tend not to carry a lot of value in general, the New Age Performer rookie cards, but they're still kind of cool when you get one of somebody that's somebody. Oh, here's another one's missing it. So Ryan uh, Aguilar. Uh, so I don't know if it's just the Angels. So I'll have to check that out and see if that's the case. Uh, Connor Wong. And then we have the other red parallel is going to be Adam Sieber. Or Simber. That is my other red parallel. I thought they were going to sparkle red ones because those are always kind of cool from the previous year's heritage years, but it's okay if it's not. I got to check the other angel cards at some point and I'll figure out if that's just a normal thing where they left the name off or if that sh should be something we should not expect it. Uh, Garrett Cole, I think we've already gotten our hit. Uh, Ranger Suarez, Nestor Cortez, Max Stassi. Yeah, see, that's missing it too. So that probably is not uh, anything special. Gabriel Moreno, Tony Kemp, Marco Gonzalez, flashback card of Seaver, becomes the highest paid pitcher. And Marcus Stroman, who's fun to watch and is actually pitching pretty well for the Cubs. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. Got five more packs. Wow, seems like a lot of packs. Uh, Gerard and Carcion, Michael Chavez, Ryan Helsley, Wilmer Flores, Hunter Dozer, Yasmani Grandal for the White Sox, Kristen Yelich, Josh Donaldson, Lourdes Goriel. Go. If anything else special in here, maybe more stamps. 
Cole Irvin, Kukuchi, Cody Bellinger, uh, Randall. Oh God, I probably pronounced his name wrong. <laughs> Daniel Vogelbach, Christian Walker, Christian Javier, Jose Barrios, Drew Smiley. He's been pitching kind of well for the Cubs this year too. All right, we are running down to the bottom here. Here's Vinny, <laughs> George Kirby, Alex Diaz, Franklin German, or German, uh, Bo Bichette, Bobby Witt Jr., Ahmed Rosario, Caleb Killian, Jordan Montgomery. All right, we're, we're, we're going down to the very end here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't plan on really buying a lot of retail uh, in general. So this was just kind of, uh, was inspired a bit by getting that card delivered and that's what was gonna happen. Matt Manning, uh, Gary Sanchez, Carlos Perez for the White Sox, Ruben Odor, Trent Grisham, Alex Manoa, uh, Mikhail Garcia, David Peralta, and Marcus Wilson. He looks very happy in that card. All right, I'll pull out our short prints in a minute. I think we should get about six, I think, probably the number packs in here. Five to six. Matt Chapman, Jose Trevino, Luis Cibriano, Kelly, or Catal Marte, Eric Hosmer. Okay, we got more stamps. These are the Padre stamps. This must just be like a retail exclusive of these stamps here. And we got Soto, Machado, Schmel, and Musgrove. That's funny because they had a veteran or a retired player on the other one. So I'm like, where's Tony Gwynn? Uh, then we got a flashback. Dow hits its lowest year in 12 years or lowest level in 12 years. Uh, Piguero, you Darvish, and we're down to the very, very, very last pack in this mega box. All right, again, you're lucky if you get anything um, that's really low numbered or numbered at all in Heritage retail boxes. Um, looks like we don't have it either. Brandy Singer, Corbin Burns, uh, Josh Rojas, Jesus Aguilar, Jared Walsh, another one of those Aaron Judge, turn back the clock ones, Max Meyer, Lillian Adamas, and then Justin Turner. So that is what we got. Looks like the Angel cards, that is just what that they look like. Um, so that's not anything too special to see that the name is missing off of there. Don't know why they don't say Los Angeles on there. Um, it's a surprise to me. Right, I'm gonna pull out just the short prints real quick and point those out when we get to them. Here's one. There's more than just one. It's fun putting this, these sets together, um, but I will say that sometimes the short prints make it a little nutty because you get all this base um, for cards that are under, under under 400. And, you know, they're, they're fun to have, fun to open, and if you're putting the set together, you definitely need them, but it's just, it's just overprinted, you know, so. They're manufacturing scarcity with modern products, which, you know, is part of the game. I get it. That wasn't necessarily how, why things were scarce in the past. Okay. So far, I got three short prints in here. I imagine, I should, like I said, I should get about five with the number of packs that we had in here. Now I'll sort all these later too. If there's any cards here that stood out to you as you watch that you might want to reach out and get, you know, you can shoot me a message too. You can just email me. Uh, looks like we got up to five now. So we got a little stack left and that will be our last bit of the short prints. Uh, maybe our last part of the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. You can find a reminder about the contest. Hope you all have a wonderful 4th of July. I will be putting out another video soon. Um, and it's probably going to be a complete set video and we'll, we'll do for one of those. I'm kind of deciding which one I want to be able to share with you. 
And at some point I need to do another diamond stars. Uh, so I have actually some more diamond stars coming in the mail. So that would be kind of fun. Maybe I'll select from those. So these are all short prints. So it looks like we got uh, six. So like Domus, Yosemite Grandel, Christian Javier, Vladimir Groy Jr., Joey Votto, and then JB Bur Burbaker. So I got a few. Anything you might be interested in, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, have a great one.